Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to the third video of the Deadman Mode tournament. We are currently starting this one off about 27 hours since the start of the Deadman Mode tournament, and the stats are on the screen right now. We just finished off doing 71 agility, which will help me with the task of Necrios so I can escape the PKers. But now, the next thing I want to unlock before I go ahead and continue on with Slayer is Piety, because with VLS, Piety, and Black Mask, my experience per hour is going to be amazing so in order to do that we need to get a couple of levels and we need to start questing so that's gonna be the first thing on the menu today 25 crafting for shiloh village completed 30 smithing also a requirement for shiloh village completed holy grail quest completed 78 magic black knight's fortress completed there we go murder mystery also completed jungle potion completed and quest completed oh thank fuck for this one honestly like Whew. Okay, so now I just have one small favor and then we're good to go. Okay, come on No break. Fuck I broke the jade. Oh my god. I broke two jades. I will think I think I'll need jade I broke three jades. Yeah, we are back after half an hour We ended up getting two more jades and now I can finally fix everything and continue on with the quest and here we have it, finally, one small favor completed, and now we pretty much just have the last quest to complete. Unfortunately, I'm not 65 defense just yet, so we're gonna work on that. Okay, there it is, 65 defense, and that means I can finally complete the piety question. I do have enough bones to get to 70 prayer. Here we have another supply drop, this time around crushed nests and toad flex potions. All right, this is one of those drops that are actually pretty decent for the account. Rune boots, it's a definite upgrade from the climbing boots, so we will gladly take that. Obviously, the next update, or upgrade rather, is going to be the dragon boots. We're gonna be going for that eventually. There it is, nice little 40 for 97 strength. Two more levels to go. And then we can finally start rounding out the stats, getting higher combat level. So I'm really looking forward to that. I completely forgot about that, but while I'm at it, I might as well go for 70 defense, just so when I do unlock piety, I instantly have it. I don't know why I just wanted to sit on 65. It's, it's because it's a quest requirement, but either way, nice. We got some potatoes with cheese, super anti-poison, and some limpur roots. Another pair of rune boots. We might be able to sell those for a little bit of money. We're also up to 78 defense. Wait, what? No, 67 defense. Yeah, that, that sounded wrong. And uh, three more levels to go until we are gonna finish the quests. Here we go. One of the best supply drops possible. Wrath runes. Uh, they're like 150k when you alk them. And blood runes at the same time. Those are beautiful to high alk. And 68 defense at the same time. Nice. And there we go. 70 defense. So back to 99 strength now. What an amazing task, 450k just in looting bag, and an extra 50k here, 43k here, an extra 150k in wrath runes. That task was honestly amazing. Well, let's get skipping. I legit just want to get some good tasks that I can do. Alright, is this one the one? There we go, finally, 164 blood welds, but first, let's go ahead and complete both quests that I still need to complete. And there we go, the quest is completed, 33k defense XP, a small experience slam that we will just chuck on player. And on top of that, we can now unlock piety after completing the training grounds. So I'm gonna get prepared for that, we're gonna do the training grounds, and after that, um, I'm probably gonna go to sleep and then finish off prayer tomorrow. Alright, here we go, we have just completed the piety subquest, and now I'm probably gonna use this guy's altar to get my prayer all the way to 70. And here we have it, 70 prayer unlocked, and that means we can now use Piety, one of the best uh, prayers in the game. But this time around, we are going to be going for at least 77 prayer, maybe even 99. We'll see how the, you know, how the tournament goes and how much money we actually have. But yeah, that is a very, very cool achievement to have unlocked at the day two, pretty much still. So that is, uh, yeah, I'm very happy with that. Uh, I don't know how many more bones I have. I'm going to pay him a little bit of money in 07. So I think about five mil for that. And uh, yeah, we're done. Thank you, Dextis, for hosting an altar for me. And here we go, completing my end of the deal. Thank you very much. There we go, 81 uh, Slayer. I'm kind of just uh, watching C Engineer's video and chilling. But hey, a nice little level, four more to go to those whips. Slowly creeping up towards 98 strength. Holy shit, I hit a 67. What the hell? And I also got a supply drop, but blood runes and death runes. Very nice. 
So I have done just a little bit of a test to see how much XP per hour I could get if I was, you know, using Piety all the time with Black Mask, with VLS, with Dragon Defender, with Barrow's Gloves and Rune Boots, I guess. And we're getting pretty much 1.5 mil XP an hour. It is insane. Like, it is actually crazy. I cannot believe it, how much XP I am actually gaining. All right, can I get another cannonable task? Fire Giants, very nice. I'll need some cannonball balls pretty soon. Oh, 82 Slayer. Three more levels to go for whips, five more levels to go for tridents. Let's keep going. Another task done, and the new task is a task of greater demons. Well, I'm not gonna do this task because I don't know if there is a delay when you TP. Well, I can't even enter the city actually because I don't have the staff. I'm so close to 99 strength, but these tasks are not something I'm interested in doing. I just want a good task so I can finish 99 strength and dude I got greater demons again like there we go a task worth doing finally some gargoyles let's go ahead get ourselves 99 strength and on top of that some extra bit of money there we go 80 magic as well very nice two more levels until we can cast blitz if we decide to do desert treasure which we'll probably do I guess tomorrow or whenever we reach 94 magic that's why I'll go for desert <laughs> All right, so it has been about 34 hours since the start of Deadman mode and we are about to reach our very first 99. Don't fail me, Spec. Oh, fuck's sake. There it is, 99 strength accomplished on the account. Uh, so as I said, 34 hours just about and now we can go ahead and train our attack to 99. That should be our next goal. But anyways, I am planning on finishing this task before I get myself a strength cape. And uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how long it takes me to finish off 99 attack. And then obviously 99 hit points in the process. And then the last one will be defense. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Stamina potions, Sanfu serums, very nice supply drop. Gargoyle task completed for 600k, uh, yeah pretty much just about 600k, we're almost 80 attack, black demons, another very very decent task. 81 magic and just one more level to go for blitz, super anti-poisons and super restores. We are almost up to 80 range and almost up to 82 magic and we do need a decent task here. Of Necreals. Alright, very nice task. This one will be fourth in a row, so if the next one is fine, we finally start getting points at 83 Slayer. So yeah, we've been pretty unfortunately with task streaks. However, let's go ahead and get a ton of money from this Necreal task. Here we go, the very first Necrearch. This is actually gonna be pretty hard to kill, I think, because the little spawns will deal a lot of damage. So every time he spawns them, I basically go up and down this little uh, spiky chain. But as you can see, this is this is gonna hurt, so we might have to already dig into our bruise here, but yeah, let's see what we can get. There we go, that was insanely fast for 32,000 experience, and the supply drop is law runes and death runes. And some curry, that's gonna be helpful. Up to 84 attack already, and 84 slayer as well, I actually didn't know that one was coming, so that means just one more level to go until we can get assigned abyssal demons. Now this time around we're not gonna specifically hunt for them, we're just gonna keep slaying because the goal is actually to do kraken. Kraken is gonna be worth way more money than a simple... than a simple whip would be for example, and we already have VLS anyways, right? So. We're gonna be rushing those Krakens, but if we get the Beastle Demons in the process, that is very nice. Another pair of Rune Boots, these actually go for 50k to 100k if you're patient enough, very nice. Yes, there we go, another tier 5 emblem. Oh my god, and I just 2 spec that poor uh, Necriar right there. Very nice, that's 300k or a Rune Pouch, oh my god, and I 2 spec that guy too. Holy shit, there we go, very beautiful to see. There we go, let's see how do we get 32,000 experience and wrath runes, that's one of the best uh, supply drops actually. And 85 deck, very nice. Another wrath rune drop, so this task already made us so much money. Once again, this is the best drop that you can get, because it is like 160k pretty much. Anyways, 86 attack already, we're powering through these levels so fast. Supply drop of manta rays and some turtles come in pretty handy in this task because you keep getting hit by death spawns And here we go. What a crazy task. Honestly, 
This task made me so much money. It's actually insane. Let's see. So we get 300k minimum from um, the emblem. And then on top of that, 1.3 almost million loot, like straight up loot. We have two supply drops of Wrath runes, which is like 300k, 350k cash, shit ton of law runes that go for a lot. Like how crazy was that task? Like honestly, that's going to be really awesome. A lot of cannonballs, a lot of nature runes. We are stacked. Who is this guy? Who is he? Look at him! Lol! Look at him! Akim279! That's not me! Who is this guy? I need to know. I have questions. Unanswered questions. I'm st <laughs> I'm streamer, please off. I see BA man. Alright, here we have it. The first skill cape in a Deadman Mode tournament. Now I already fucked it up twice because I didn't have inventory space. But anyways, let's buy the cape and say sure. It's probably worth the money because, oh wait, it's not trimmed, so I don't actually think it gives me many... It doesn't give me prayer bonus at all, so I need to get another 99 to trim it. But anyways, just the looks itself, uh, in my opinion, make, uh, make it worth it. So, yeah, with that being said, we're gonna now return to Slayer right after this amazing never-before-seen emote. Look at this. Holy fucking shit. Alright, let me not forget to get more Varrock tabs now. All right, here we go. Can we get a fifth good task in a row? <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Why am I not surprised? And yes, I'm not going to be doing worms. It's just not worth my time. All right, let's see what we get. Bloodveld's beautiful task. Thank you very much. There we go. 87 attack. Nice. My favorite insatiable Bloodveld. A few tournaments ago, you guys taught me how to say this. And, this, uh, and that was also the tournament where I ended up getting a... Heart from this guy, so let's see if we can do it again. Here we go, one more hit, and we get 29,000 experience and uh, Manta Rays and Sea Turtles. So luckily everything stopped and froze just for me to record this clip, but here we have it, 85 Slayer. That means we can now get assigned Abyssal Demons, and with that we can now get ourselves Whips. Now in the past I would stop slaying right here and go straight for Whips, however... They're not worth that much, I think. They're probably worth about, let's say, 30 mil 07 per piece. Um, but I don't need them. Not right now, at least. So we're just gonna go hard on Slayer. I think I explained that in the previous clip, but I wanna get to 87 and camp Kraken instead. Because through Kraken, I will be gaining 99 magic. And I have a high chance of obtaining tridents. And people offer very good money for tridents. So that's gonna be our goal. But for now, we keep training attack. We keep, keep training everything and... Uh, we get to 87 Slayer. Look at a big chunker again. Here we go, Insatiable Bloodveld. Let's see if we can get something cool. Look at this view. God damn. Okay, anyways. 30k experience and we get Blue Dragon Scales. Do, do, do. Oh, oh, ah, hi. 88 attack. 82 magic. We can now cast Ice Blitz once we complete Desert Treasure. But that's not our goal, we go for 94 at least. It's a good little uh, level though. There it is, 80 ranged as well. All strictly through cannoning, that is amazing. Usually I train a range completely manually if I don't have the cannon. This tournament is completely different though. 80 range just passively and it speeds out my training so... Honestly, just perfect. It's really crazy because I got 80 range, not doing anything really. And I got 82 magic, just alking whilst I still melee train. So I basically spent no time on both of these skills. Really amazing. Very nice task. I'm absolutely... Ooh, Abyssal Demon straight after 85 Slayer. Let's get some whips. They still hold quite a bit of value. So uh, yeah, let's see what we can do, I guess. Nice. 89 attack. Prayer Potions and Snape Grass. Ooh, 83 magic. Actually didn't expect that to happen. There it is, 90 attack. Missed it a little bit. And uh, we have 9 more levels to go. But there it is, 91 attack. Oh, 86 Slayer. Nice. First time getting a Wine of Zami. Very nice that those make out ranging potions. Mist runes and Mind runes. Nice. It's one of those days when I'm just tired and everything sounds wrong. And there we go. Yes. 14 left on the task and we got it. Look how beautiful this looks. Wait, wait, how do I zoom into that little feller? 
There it is, an abyssal whip. Probably worth quite a little of meat, a little bit of money on 07 as well. All right, so that task was beautiful. I ended up getting quite a little bit of uh, money just in, uh, in in random drops, but most importantly, we now have a whip as well. I could go ahead and probably swap it to 07 for either 20 to 30 mil. However, I think I'll just keep it, and the tasks that require me to be far away from the safe zones, I will do with a whip. And then the tasks that require me to be somewhat in safe areas, I will do with the VLS. And uh, that's gonna be really nice. <laughs> As if we are going back to Abyssal Divas. Ah, honestly, I'm happier than doing still, still Dragons. But this time around, we're gonna kill them with a whip, I think. Super Energy and Amelie's Crystals. That makes stamina, nice. Lol, I was just in a call with my boys and uh, we just got another whip. Very puck jump. Um, I'll take it, thank you. Uh, let me just... Do we put it in the bag? I think we don't. I think we just have it here. Nice, there's a second one. We can look to swap that. We got ourselves a very first swap of the season. 25 million for the whip. So 25 million 07 and we give him a whip. Sounds like a good deal to me. And here we give him the whip. Very nice. Another very nice supply drop, Wrath Runes and Blood Runes, the best one. I don't know why I cut it out, but another emblem, tier 5, very nice. I think I can get myself Rune Pouch now, so I no longer need to spend 2 inventory slots for Alking. It's gonna come in handy. The very first Greater Abyssal Demon, let's see if we can get something spicy. Also, very quickly, um, I did say that I will do these with whips, but in the future I think I'll just do them with VLS. I'm spending a bit too long just attacking with a whip. I want to find like a good closure for a video, because I've got 120 clips and I don't know how I'm going to end it. So maybe we end it with like another whip or maybe we'll end the video right as I get the Kraken task or something like that. Anyways, 42,000 experience. And a bunch of cosmic runes and death uh, dust runes. Pretty nice. Oh, there we go. 93 attack. Ba boom. 42k, 4 manta rays and sea turtles. Damn it. Whoa! Look at it. We got another one. Another tier 5 emblem. Holy shit. Ooh, hello there. First shield left half of the tournament. Thank you, Ring of Wolf. That is cool. I mean, at least it alks for 66k, so it's really not bad. Nice. And there it was. 87 Slayer accomplished. That was one of the final goals I had for this video in particular. In the next video, we are going to be hopefully going for 99 attack. 99 magic maybe with Kraken. It's going to be a spicy one. However, let's just go ahead and finish these six skills before we fully end the video. We ended up getting a lot of supply drops in this task alone, as you can see, pretty much full looting bag of drops and uh, two arctic emblems, which is amazing. Um, however, we are going to be ending the video here. If you enjoyed, make sure you give it a like and watch the day one and two, which makes some sense. I mean, watch video one and two, because we are technically still in day two right now, so... These are the stats at the end of the video, very nice. It has been about 46 hours since the start of the Deadman Mode tournament and this is what we are looking like right now. Very happy with the progress and as I said in the previous clip, tomorrow or after this video, we're gonna be focusing on getting some Kraken. If you guys made it all the way until the end, I just need to quickly say that I have so many clips recorded because I play so much that I can't keep up with the uploads compared to how much I'm actually progressing. So you see this video right now, this is not my actual stats, this is still day 2 and tomorrow I'll show you how I progress further from there. Um, I could also try to upload two videos in one day, but I don't think that would do well with YouTube. So I'm just trying to pump these videos out, make them really, like, as long as possible while still interesting. And uh, I'll make sure to do the same tomorrow. So I do hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, yeah, watch some of the other videos that I made. Maybe check out my second channel as well. Either way, I'll see you again tomorrow with another upload and have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.